Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The levies, as we know, have been, uh, that belong to IBWC, have been dilapidated, not certified, and they haven't funded them. Um, there's different issues we need to do that, that budget constraints. It's about money that, that gives us a lot of uh, heartaches. One of the most troubling issues we dealt with this past year was a faulty system. If a hurricane or even a heavy rain would strike, the levees could overtop and cause significant flooding, even in this building here today. What happens with the levees will have an impact on our economic growth. It also affects the safety of our residents. But uh, different issues that are important to Hidalgo County and its future, uh, where we've been in 2007, where we're going in 2008, but most importantly, we're going to talk about economic development, uh, about our people, how we need to reinvest in our people and make sure that the future of this county uh, is attaining a higher education level uh, and helping them get to that level. But to upgrade the whole drainage system, because remember we've gone from carrot tops to rooftops in our county, it would cost $500 million. We know, and we get reminded every week, that our stretch, we need to stretch our tax dollars. And in 2007, we found more ways to do that. A bill, thanks to Congressman Ruben Hinojosa and Henry Cuellar, allowed International Boundary and Water Commission to reimburse us for the design, construction, and rehabilitation of our levy. Hidalgo County should be able to recapture back those $40 million one, saving taxpayers money, and hopefully saving us from a second bond issuance. They remember, and we remember, that we work for them. They're our bosses. The report today is about letting them know where we were. They pay our taxes so that we can be here full time. Federal legislation was passed to allow drainage districts to, to enhance their flood protection system, saving Hidalgo County more than $53 million dollars that can be redirected to critical drainage projects. And now, the wall. How does it fit in this picture? We learned the wall in May, where 370 miles would be constructed by the end of 2008 in the southern border. 70 miles of that in the Rio Grande Valley. 22 miles in Hidalgo County. Immediately, we began conversations to stop the plan from moving forward. We talked. The Department of Homeland Security ignored us. We wrote. They ignored us again. Michael, you were with us in those talks, Michael Allen. We met. They ignored us. We went to Washington, D.C., all to no avail. But we didn't just complain. We came up with a solution. And now I think they're really, we're really talking and Homeland Security is listening. They are working with us to see if we can develop a win-win situation. A proposed hydraulic structure is a good common sense alternative. Alternative. It's not a wall. We all know walls don't work, but bridges do. A decision on our proposal is expected soon. Meanwhile, we are pushing forward ahead with the drainage issues. In July, we signed a memorandum of understanding with IBWC to allow the drainage district to work on the federally owned levees. We are already soliciting bids, as a matter of fact, for phase one. We got permission last week, which runs from Alsa Duas Park to Inspiration Road. We also broke ground on two ditches in Precinct 2 with the leadership of Commissioner Palacios, the Alamo Drain and the Fort McCallum Lateral, alleviating water around the Tiendas area. These ditches will be helped in localized flooding, especially in the urbanized areas. We too are moving aggressively, but for flood control projects. We've got no choice. We're not going to be another New Orleans here in Hidalgo County. We need to take the destiny in our own hands. We're not going to wait for the federal government to fund the projects we take. We will take care of our own people. We want the levees fixed by the end of 2008. 